Hi, I'm Plus Size Luxury, aka Monet. I started this channel because I thought it was really important to see more plus size representation in the luxury community. I also wanted to do this first video as a collection video because it's just a starter collection. I feel like when we watch a lot of collection videos, it's like 20 different bags, 50 different SLGs and scarves and stuff like that. And that's not where we start out, right? We start with a couple of bags, a couple of SLGs, and then our collection slowly grows over time. So um, I thought I would make this video so I can look back at it and see how my collection grows over time and um, take you along that journey. Um, so for my collection, I want to just start, and I'm just looking down um, at my notes that I have so I make sure I don't miss anything. Um, I'm going to start with the SLGs. So my first SLG is this medium Chanel O case. I love the rainbow colors on here. Um, it has a, I think, shiny gold hardware on here. Yep. Uh, just a single zipper and then it has gold fabric inside and it says Chanel made in France. Um, with all the price increases, I really wanted things that, you know, I couldn't get anywhere else. But this was just so special and unique that I had to get it from Chanel, so I thought it's definitely worth it. I love wearing it with like a simple white dress or a denim dress and just taking this as a clutch to dinner. And this was from the 20A collection. So pretty. I love it. Okay, so the other SLG that I have... And this one is from 21K. This is the flap card holder. I personally think this is the best SLG you can get from Chanel. I think it's very unique. And you know, it gives you that classic flap look without the classic flap price, of course. Has the um, special Mona Lisa smile on the back here. Uh, this edition, it had rainbow hardware, which I thought was really cool. Um, inside you can fit about I think 10 um, I can do a more detailed review on this but you can fit a bunch of cards in here and then it has um, a slip pocket in the front there and I usually uh, keep my ID in there but yeah so this is the flap card holder and I think it's definitely well worth it all right let's go on to um, LV so Everyone gets the key holder and the um, key pouch and the mini pochette, I think, as their first SLGs. Let me know if you want me to do a review on those. So, um, for the uh, key holder, this is just in the classic monogram canvas. I've had this for about two years and I've used it every single day. It's holding up really well. So you can just see I have my keys inside. You can slip with the uh, six key holder, you can slip uh, cards behind it with the four key holder. I don't think you can fit cards um, behind the keys. Um, so inside, I think this is leather on the inside and then canvas on the outside, but I am not sure. We can double check that. And then it just has a little button on the front. Um, this is wearing really well. The only places I see that it's wearing is definitely the glazing around the corners, but otherwise this is a workhorse. I also have the uh, key clay or key pouch. Um, this is in the classic monogram, has sort of the um, brushed hardware for the zipper, and then you can attach your key fob in there, but I just have it in there. And then it has the lobster claw, and then you can just um, attach your keys if you wanted to. Um, I think this is like the best SLG. Um, you can just do so much with this, and it fits a lot more than you think. Let me go into my flat card holder. Um, I got the reverse flat card holder. Uh, this is also is in canvas. I just like that it had the different sides to it. Um, you can do about one card per side and then one or two in the middle, but you have to be careful about stretching it out because it does stretch. Um, but I thought this was really cute. I also have the pochette accessories from Louis Vuitton. Um, this is in the classic monogram again. I just attached an LV bag charm right here. And then I also purchased their, uh, I think this is called a 16 millimeter um, bag um, strap. Just can't think of words today. So this I use as a crossbody. I use it a lot. And uh, I really prefer the percent accessories over 
the Felici because it has more flexibility. So you're able to actually fit more into this than you would the Felici because the Felici is very structured. And then I also have the Prochette Accessories in another print. This is Dami Reserve. Um, I've never used this. This is actually brand new. I bought this at the same time as the other one. But for some reason, the light color, I'm just worried about color transfer. And then, um, I don't know, I don't think it goes well in my wardrobe. Uh, I'm thinking about selling this one. Um, trying to make up my mind if I'll regret it because I bought this for I think around $800 and that was after like another price increase because I think this used to be like $600 and then now if you can believe it it is $1,200 for this so I'm like should I sell this I mean I don't want to like want it later and then have to repurchase it you know what I mean so ah, I need to think about it we'll see um, just a random SLG I have. I actually went to Florence, um, Italy, and there's this leather school there, um, which I highly recommend. Let me see if I can pronounce the name. Um, it's called Sculio del Curio. I will put the website in the description box, but they um, it's just a leather school, and you can actually go there and uh, purchase like SLGs and handbags and uh, leather jackets. The leather is just so supple and soft and the dye is so rich like this is just I feel like so cute I just use this in my bags as a catch-all and um, since I've never heard anyone speak about it I definitely wanted to bring it up it is an Italian um, made little pouch I just keep it in my desk bag for now but I just love the purple color and that it was handcrafted you know and then finally, um, I forgot her name, but there was a YouTuber on here that um, purchased the Dior travel kit. And I think that's an excellent buy because you get like five SLGs for about, I think $1,200 or something like that. And it comes with a, um, a large um, pouch that you can use for like documents or a clutch, a luggage tag, which I don't have on me. It's actually on my luggage. Um, a flat card holder which I sold because I don't really use that one and then I kept the remaining two items so um, the first item I kept was the oblique uh, passport holder in the navy oblique print I just think this is really nice and fancy while you're traveling um, inside there's leather and it has uh, about four or five card slots on the side so you can keep your ID in there um, overall this is just really durable and a great buy and then I also kept just the little uh, pouch as a catch-all again um, I love that it has like little CD details on the zipper there inside it just says Christian Dior Paris made in Italy and um, yeah I don't know I just I keep my you know like, hair ties and like mints in here um, in my larger bags and I think actually that was one of the first luxury purchases I made because I just thought that was like, wow, you get five items. Um, now I understand it's like quality over quantity. You don't need that many, but even so, I, if you really love Dior, I think it's a really good buy. Okay, let's see. All right, just checking my notes. I think we got all of the SLGs. Um, I wanted to do a small unboxing. Let's grab it from here before we move into the next section because I think a lot of the stuff I picked up are um, SLGs from Louis Vuitton. I got a couple of these online and then a couple in store. So the first item that I have here, it is called um, the card holder. I'm sorry, the business card holder. And I personally think this is like such an overlooked item. Um, it's, I think it's only 380, it's full leather. Uh, you can fit about, I think like 10 cards in here. So I use it as like a mini wallet. I've used it for a week now, um, really been enjoying it. I think it's a great buy, super adorable, great quality. I've had no issues with it so far. I mean, I've only had it for a couple weeks, but um, I just think that this is definitely overlooked and something you should look into because uh, I don't really hear anyone talking about it. 
The other item I got is a fashion jewelry piece. Um, I try to keep my fashion jewelry to a minimum because you don't want to buy too much. Um, you have to figure out if your ears are sensitive or not. Um, I don't have any trouble with Chanel fashion jewelry, but this is my first time buying a LV one. These are called the, I guess the LV Iconic. And I just got the plain one and not the embellished ones. I think there's one with like um, crystals or diamond tees on there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll do a close up later, but these are just classic LV gold studs. I thought I could wear them forever and they're not like a super trendy piece that will go out of style. Finally, um, this was like an impulse buy. I have like a very strict wish list. And I try to like stay focused and not get distracted, but I went to try on a bag at, I shop at the Lenox Mall here in Atlanta and <clears throat> I tried on a pair of sunglasses and I fell immediately in love. <laughs> uh, these are called, let's see, let me look at the receipt. These are called uh, La Gran Belzia. I don't know. I will put the name in the description box somewhere. Um, this is in Tortoise and of course it came in the leather box it also has its own um, dust bag which I really like because it's actually microfiber so you can use it to wipe the lenses of your sunglasses and I use the uh, dust cover or d dust bag actually um, in my bags to carry the sunglasses in so this is how it looks I just think they're so fire like I feel like a boss when I wear them. They're really oversized, so they're good for a rounder face. And um, this is the tortoise print. It has uh, just a simple Louis Vuitton on the side. I'll do like some close-up shots, of course, but that was understated, but uh, made me feel super cool. So that's why we're buying these things, right? <laughs> yeah, those are just the few things that I got recently from Louis Vuitton. All right, so next we will move on to okay, scarves. Okay, let's move on to scarves. Um, I actually really enjoy scarves. I feel like it's a cute way to like dress up maybe your plain leather handbags or dress up a plain outfit. Um, I first wanted to show you the first purchase that I got recently from Fendi. This is my first time getting one of their scarves. They call them a wrappy, which I think is really cute. So let's open this up. Uh, this is from like a recent collection, but I actually found this on sale for I think like 30% off. I was surprised because this is a recent collection and I'll do a close up of course, but it is this super long scarf. Um, I was planning on tying it on one of my bags. I like that the reverse side has the Fendi print on there. Um, I just thought it was really beautiful. Here we go. So I just bought that, I think like two weeks ago. So I'm excited to finally open that up and use oh, it. Okay, so the next one is from Dior. Um, I always pick up something from Dior around Christmas time just to get their holiday packaging. I just think it's so pretty. Uh, if you're a handbag lover, you already know. <laughs> a lot of this is about love of packaging too. Uh, so I saw this for their spring line and I just thought it was gorgeous. This is in the Toit de Jouy. Print, uh, but it's in a neon or yeah I would say this is a neon pink and then on the back side it just has the classic Christian Dior on there I just thought this was so lovely and a nice pop of color I don't think I could do a full bag in this print so I thought this is perfect and then continuing on the Dior train um, again another year another Christmas packaging bag um, Yes, I do keep all of them in their original packaging. I'm in the process of moving now, so it's just easier. Um, so this was, you know, I don't remember what year this was from, but I know that this one is from the most recent holiday collection. And I think this was the year before that, but don't quote me. Um, so this one right here, I just loved all the flowers and it was sort of like a darker flower print, which we don't usually see. And of course on the back it has 
Christian Dior. I'll be doing some close-ups, but I just love um, um, putting these on my bags. All right, and then the year before that, um, another Christmas uh, packaging or holiday packaging. I just love these things. <laughs> and in this one, in this one, we have, oh, I remember this one. Okay, so this one, actually my boyfriend, it's a pandemic relationship. Uh, my boyfriend, he bought me this for Christmas or actually for my birthday and I was just so surprised because I had no idea he even knew that I liked these. So this one's very special to me. And then it has like stars on the back here. Okay. And then um, these are not in its original packaging, but I do enjoy the Madewell bags. And this is what I usually do with my mitzvahs or my twillies. I just take a plain leather bag. I usually get them from Madewell because I like the quality. And then I just tie the mitts on them. I think this is such a cute way to like fancy up uh, otherwise like plain purse. So I have that one. And then I also have it in this cognac color with um, this mitza, which I think I need to tie a little tighter now that I'm looking at it, but you get the idea. <laughs> So those are all of my Dior scars and then the one Fendi one that I, I recently bought. The only other scarf that I have is this one from LV. I love this color in the winter. Um, I don't know the name of it. I actually bought this pre-loved on one of those Facebook groups. Um, I got it for a really good deal. I think it was just like $350 or something when it was originally $700 or so. But I will look it up and I'll put the name in the link because I know that they still sell this scarf. Um, it's really, really big. The only thing though is it does catch quite easily. So if you have like, you know, long fingernails or embellishment on your clothes, like you have to be careful with it. But I just thought this was like a nice classic LV scarf. Okay, so that's it for scarves. Let's see, I think it's time we go into handbags. All right, let's talk handbags now. So right now I only have three handbags. I recently purchased a fourth. Look out for the unboxing for that. Um, it is a Chanel purse that I bought from Fashion File. I'm having it sent to their um, parent company, Neiman Marcus, to pick up after the move. Um, but for now, my first purse that I have here is actually my oldest hand uh, luxury handbag that I have. I think I've had this for about four years. Um, this was before I started actively um, collecting luxury handbags and luxury items. So this is from YSL. It's their Lou camera bag. I know there's another YouTuber on here that has this similar wicker and black leather combination. I think it's a great purse because it has a very good um, crossbody drop, especially on a size 16 body. It's just a, you know, a single compartment in here in a slip pocket. I won't show you because I have stuff in there right now. I use this about every other day. Um, and then it just says St. Laurent, uh, Paris made in Italy. Again, I just think that it is a great shape. You can fit a ton in here and it's a great everyday bag. This is the bag that made me fall in love with, uh, I guess, luxury handbags. I love the Pochette Matisse. I am a medium handbag girl. I just think this is the perfect size, the perfect shape. I love the top handle. I love the amount of hardware. I have this in the navy version. I also want to get it in some more colors. I want to get um, definitely the black one and maybe like a fun color, maybe like a pink or something like that. Um, I'm waiting for um, more versions to come out. Um, so this is it right here. It has the zip compartment in the back, which this is a tad annoying. I think I should wrap this up when I have it in the dust bag to see if it will stop uh, flipping up. But you know, what can you do? And I usually put my cell phone in the back here. And then inside, it just has the three compartments, so a very narrow one in the back and then two larger ones in the middle and in the front. And then I don't think there's any zipper pocket. Yeah, so that's it. Um, again, I just love this bag. I think it's 
so me this is like me in a handbag basically so and then finally I have this Chanel um, jumbo this is the single flap version I think this is from like 2012 so I bought this pre-loved off of fashion file actually um, I loved the quality of the 2012-13-14 era the hardware is pristine shiny I don't see any scratches scratch sorry I don't see any scratches on here any tarnishing on here um, it just has like the classic Mona Lisa smile on here the chain drop is great. I'm going to do some mod shots, of course, so you can see it on a size 16 body. But um, the chain drop is great for a crossbody, and then you can double it up to do over the shoulder, so it's very versatile. Um, and then inside, it's just a large compartment with a slip compartment, and then also a zipper compartment in the back there. So, and then I just have a um, organizer, a felt organizer that I got off of Etsy. And those are all my handbags. Alright, so this is what I would consider my other category, just a hodgepodge of other luxury items that I happen to have that I would like to share with you. So this first category is perfume, and again I'm just looking down at my notes for this. So the first one I have here is, and again, oh, actually all of these are by um, Mason Francis Kirk de Jean Paris. I sampled, I think, two of his scents and I fell in love, became addicted. Now I have five of them. So this is the only brand of luxury perfumes that I have. So this one right here is the Baccarat Rouge 540. Uh, the top notes are saffron and jasmine. Middle notes are amberwood and ambergris. Base notes are fir resin and cedar. I love this one. It's definitely my favorite one of all time. Um, I get compliments all the time on it. My dentist said that I smelled intoxicating. <laughs> so uh, whatever works, right? So um, I really enjoy that one. Let's see. So the next one that I have here is Oud Satin Mood. Um, this one, it doesn't have a lot of notes on here. Let me see. Oh, okay. So it says vanilla rose oud, powdery violet amber floral and warm and spicy so i really like this as a date night sexy sort of nighttime uh, perfume that i have um it's just really really i don't know spicy and you just really get that strong scent of oud and like woody scent i really enjoy it okay so this next one that i have is the baccarat rouge 540 in the um extract or intense version I guess you would call it so the top notes are bitter almond saffron the middle notes are Egyptian jasmine and cedar and then the base notes are ambergris woody notes and musk I love this it's definitely different from the original version it's a I think I would call it more like the grown-up version it's very spicy it's very mature um, I like to use this also for date nights it just seems like a nighttime fragrance and not an all-around daytime or day to night fragrance but I really do enjoy this one Okay, so for my next one, I have a la rose. Um, I usually use this during the daytime or um, day to night throughout summertime and springtime. It just smells like rose, but the notes here say that the top notes are Calabrian bergamot, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, California orange, middle notes are Bulgarian rose, grass rose, violet magnolia, base notes are cedar and musk. This is a really lovely feminine rose scent. And then finally, let's see, this one is called Aqua Celestia. Um, I really enjoy this one. It's a very aquatic sort of um, light scent that I feel I can wear all day tonight. It sort of leans masculine, but I like it on myself. The notes are, the top notes are lime, mint, black currant, and neroli. The middle notes are mimosa, green notes, and rose. And then the base note is white musk. Again, it's just a very aquatic beachy I just feel like I can wear this a lot in Florida and suntan lotion like this is what I imagine so those are my perfumes 
Um, next up, we will go into sunglasses. So you saw the Louis Vuitton sunglasses that I already unboxed earlier. Um, these I've had, the second pair from Louis Vuitton I've had for about a year now. Um, there is a YouTuber that influenced me to buy these. I will pop her name somewhere. I just loved how they looked on her and I was just like, this will be perfect for a round face such as mine. These are actually men's sunglasses. These are the 1.1 Millionaires. Let me try them on for you. I just got them in the classic black with the gold finishing on there and the details. I'll do some close-ups, but I just really loved how these look. Um, I wear them a lot. I get a ton of wear of them. They feel very luxurious. I love the details on them. They're weighty but not too heavy. And I just think they're, I don't know, I think they're supposed to be trendy, but they've been out for a couple years now. So I've just been enjoying them and I hope I can wear them for years to come. The other pair of sunglasses I have are Mew Mews. These, I'm on the fence about keeping them. You let me know if I should keep them. They're an extreme cat eye version and I really like them online, but to me they feel a bit flimsy. I've had these for about eight months now. I think I've only worn them a couple of times though. So let me try them on. This is how they look. Like they're an extreme exaggerated cat eye. I thought they were fun, but I don't reach for these pretty often. So the other item that I have, which is a really random item, I was just looking at sort of the sarongs and um, beach type things on the Dior website. And then I looked at their housewares and I was just like, wow, this is really cute. Maybe one day I can get a set. And then I came across this item. And <laughs> I know this is really random. This was an impulse buy. This is not on the wish list, but I thought it was so cute. It has the Toit de Dree print on there. It's just a fan. Um, I bring these to concerts and like art outdoor events, which we've have been having a lot of because of the pandemic and everything. I just think it's adorable, but I will admit, I feel like it's wearing pretty fast around the edges. So I don't know if I would recommend it, but I'm glad that I have it. I will not buy another one though. Um, but yes, I have a Dior fan. <laughs> Okay, so I have a pair of Fendi tights and I have a pair of Gucci tights. Um, it's really hard to show those to you, but I will put up some close-up of the Fendi tights and the Dior tights that I have. Um, just a quick review on those two. So the Fendi tights, I got them in the largest size, which I think is a three that they have on the website. Um, I wear size 16 again, so I found that they ran a tad small. I still wear them, but they're not like, you know, you can't eat a large meal when you're wearing these, you know? And then the Gucci ones, I got in a size large and they run actually very large. So this runs the large in the Gucci tights and I'll probably link these. These are the Gigi Supreme tights. Um, they run a big big. So I feel like you can, if you're like a size 18, you could probably wear the large. Um, I didn't return these because they're very comfy, so uh, just keep the, that in mind for um, luxury tights. Okay, so I think we'll do the last section, which is the um, jewelry that I have. This is not actually a jewelry piece, but you could use it as a necklace. This is the chain from the LV Cousin Bag. Um, I got was able to purchase this on a Facebook group and just get the chain alone. I think it's gorgeous. You can use it as a necklace. Um, I like to just use it as a um, shoulder chain for my pochette accessories. I just think it's so gorgeous, but it is extremely heavy. So just keep that in mind. Um, it does weigh down your bags. For fashion jewelry, I do have a pair of Chanel studs. Let's open these up. So I just have a pair of classic gold tone CC studs. Um, when I was watching a lot of reviews, people said to stay away from anything that had stones or too much embellishment. So I went for the plain gold ones. I do have sensitive ears, but these don't seem to bother me at all. I've gotten a ton of wear out of them. 
Um, I don't know what collection was this from. This was 21A. And yeah, I really, really love these. I like to wear them when I wear my uh, jumbo and I just think it's really cute together. Um, is there any other, I don't think I have any other fashion jewelry. All right, so that's just the one pair of earrings that I have and you saw earlier that I unboxed the LV uh, studs as well. So going on to fine jewelry. Mm -hmm. I have this um, ring from Bulgari. I love Bulgari. I think they're super underrated. I don't get why. They have a lot of awesome stuff. I have their single um, yellow gold B01 ring. I just use this as a pinky ring and of course I'll do some close-up shots later but I just think it's like so luxe. I love the packaging of course as well and yeah. I like to wear it with this and I'm hoping to get a B01 uh, bracelet to match pretty soon. Well, that I have this um, wrist, my wrist up actually. So I have this Cartier, uh, musty Cartier watch. This is a vintage watch. This was one of my first luxury purchases. I've had this for about, I think a year and a half now. Um, I wanted to get a luxury watch but I wanted to really save up and wait for a Rolex. That's gonna be impossible for a couple years because like inventory is very low. I don't even know where I can find a dealer here in Atlanta. So I thought I would just pick up something from Cartier and I really love the look of this because it has um, a very similar link pattern to a Rolex and then it has um, 18 karat gold on the face and it also has a really cool um, bezel here which you, I can show you in the close-ups, but I've had this for about a year and a half. I love oh. it. Final thing, and I'm actually wearing it. Um, I do have a VCA a single Alhambra, vintage Alhambra um, necklace. So this is in the mother of pearl. I had to have it extended. Um, I got the full three inches extended, um, and then I also bought a two inch extender so I had to extend it five inches so this could be about I think about 18 inches this is how it falls on me I have a sort of a wider neck but I'm in love with it I'm saving up for the bracelet right now I want to get the matching earrings I'm trying to figure out if I want to get it in um, the same mother of pearl or if I want to get maybe the galoche or the onyx to sort of mix and match and play around with that but that's my entire collection. I hope you enjoyed and that this wasn't too long and that the road noise didn't bother you if you heard any. Um, again, this is just the start of my collection and I just thought it was really interesting to sort of see, okay, this is where I'm starting from and who knows where I'll end up. Um, remember to like this video, uh, comment if you can, if you want me to review any of the items that you saw today and then also subscribe. All right, have a good one.